Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to a new episode I haven't done a video on Jay Smith before I haven't really seen much of his stuff um, I think I stumbled across this a couple of days ago And I really felt the need to do this one um, Because of how embarrassing it is But yeah, let's, let's go through this together I'm going to be sharing my thoughts as we, um, as we carry on so basically what he's going to be doing is he's going to be sharing a Quranic variant and he's going to be critiquing it. Nothing has been changed. In the Huff's translation, it or a version, it has Bariyati. Bariyati is the word you can see under. So in the Hafs it says Al-Bariya and in Qirat Wash it says al bariya But let's carry on. Blind and green. Creatures. In the Warsh, which is the one that's used in North Africa, it's the Al-Asbahani version of the Warsh, because there's more than one. Uh, the word is Al-Bare'ati, Bare'ati, with the glottal stop there, <clears throat> in, underlined in yellow. You can see there, that's completely, it is a different word, especially at the end. So, <clears throat> that refers to as the innocent. So, the translation mm -hmm. in the Hafs would be, indeed, they who disbelieved among the people of the scriptures and the polytheists, will be in the fire of hell, abiding eternally therein. Those are the worst of creatures. So it's talking about us, really, Christians. In the Warsh, which is popular in North Africa, the translation would say, indeed, they who disbelieved among the people of the scriptures, that's us, and the polytheists, those are the heathens, will be in the fire of hell, abiding eternally therein. Those are the worst of the innocent. Well, now, there are two problems here. One is, are Christians the worst creatures, or are we innocent and if we are innocent what are we along with the Jews and the polytheists doing in hell hmm. so that has a theological problem you could do a doctoral thesis just on that okay so <laughs> let's let me share um, so subhanallah when I saw that I was like what the heck is this guy saying okay so subhanallah just uh, yesterday I came across Another clip. And by the way, I'm not watching all of Jay, St Jay Smith's videos. I'm not watching any of Phil Fadi's videos. Um, but subhanAllah, I came across this. And I was surprised to see where Jay um, found this. Apparently, Al Fadi led him to this absolutely absurd conclusion. You have the green underlining. And in the second reading, it's saying they are the worst of the innocent. Uh -huh. Al Bariya. Al شوف شوف العيب شوف المسخرة هذا عربي ها. Huh? This guy is an Arab. All right, let's carry on. Al Bariya. So, it's indicating that humankind is innocent, but there are levels <laughs> there. Some are worse than others. Uh, so that's a well, theological difference right there, isn't it? It's a huge theological problem here, because you're assuming here or telling me that if I were to read it for the first time if I'm somebody who doesn't know anything about the teaching of the which Quran, you don't Quran I would say well that's interesting the Quran is identifying humankind to be innocent uh -huh. they have no uh, basically fault for whatever they do Ayo. or in this case the people of the scriptures are innocent that's right then what are for innocent what are we doing in hell well just uh, you happen to be the worst of innocent people <laughs> you could just write papers on this one. Right, in order for you to read it, Al Bariya versus Al Bariya. Hmm. That was that was very simple. I mean, without it, you won't be able to pronounce it correctly. And notice, when you pronounce it correctly, now you know the meaning of the word Al Bariya, innocent, Al Bariya, creatures. Uh, Big difference. Uh, Al Fadi, you've been a real blessing, and thank you so much. Blessing. I, you know, bless you that you have not only such a good mind, bless you, Fadi. but that you're doing this kind of work. This is your doctoral thesis. This is part of what you have. He's, he's doing his PhD, and this is the, the, the stuff he's bringing in. Okay, so, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, so if you return to Tafsir al uh you find that Al Bariya and Al Bari'a are the same exact word. And Zamakhshari points out that this is like saying Al Nabi, and in another recitation, Al Nabi. The, the Arabs would sometimes add, or excuse me, um, originally some of these words would have a Hamza, Al-Nabi, Al-Bari'a. However, 
um, with usage, the Arabs dropped the Hamza. So it's the same word. So that's the first thing. Okay? Now, that's not the main thing. That's not the main... You see, you, see, you, can, you can make a mistake. You can make a mistake. There, there are like levels of mistakes. You can say something is just a mistake. But then you could say something that's so stupid. Um, you can make these really, really, really dumb arguments based on um, ignorance. It's not. You see, it's not just ignorance. Uh, stupidity is is a big factor here. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me let me pull up an image. Now, according to Al-Fadi, mashallah alayk al um, he says that it's supposed to say, those are the worst of the innocent, and then it says, indeed, they who have believed and done righteous deeds, those are the best of the innocent. Yani, what, what, what does that even mean? According to Al-Fadi's interpretation, al bariya here means... Um, the innocent. Well, no, it doesn't. al bariya actually is one, it's a feminine word, all right, and two, it's singular. So, ulaik hum shar al bariya would mean they are the worst of an innocent woman or something along those lines. Now, the word that would or that should have been used is al abriya. This is just basic stuff, man. This is like third grade elementary level. This is not hard stuff. This isn't stuff that you need to go to a university to figure out. You don't need to be an expert to figure this stuff out. And it's quite sad that this is the level um, in apologetics these days. So you see, basically when I first came across this video by Jay Smith, I was like, Ajib, yani, this, is, this is really bad. Um, and he comes off, he, he tries to come off as an expert in this stuff, and he really isn't. Um, however, I couldn't, yeah, even though it's Abe, this is Abe, okay, this is Abe because, um, yeah, you know, you're, you're trying to come off as something that you're not, but yalla, and you're not an Arab, you can make dumb mistakes, people will overlook that, but when you're an Arab, when you wear a al-ghitra wal agal and yani, you look like this, and you don't know the difference between and you assume, yeah, this is the thing, you're projecting your stupidity onto the Qur'an, and then you're saying, oh, it doesn't make sense, I'm going to write my PhD about this, I'm going to expose how the Qur'an is so silly, and you're projecting that onto the Qur'an, that's the issue. Either I'm living a big lie, or I know nothing about Islam.